What's up guys, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming. We're gonna do another first impressions video. This is supposedly a really, very early uh, game that says, I've got a little read me note. It says, hello, thank you for the reply. Here's some notes for you. This is just a demo, of course. Uh, things gonna be added, change, remove, obviously. English, not my primary language, uh, okay. Uh, that's fine, as long as you can spell check it. Um, you know, I know you don't like the default font, but there's, it's quite okay. No, I don't think so. Change it up. It's not hard. I've got a video for that. There's several of them. Battle system will be a bit lame, but still trying to figure it out. Keep working on it. The title is going to be different. Probably the last thing I do. Just change it up quick because it's the, it's really easy to do. And it'll just, the first impressions are real important, right? So you want to get the title screen look good. There's some bugs in the weapon shop. Statistics are not showing correctly. I'll check it out and I'll let you know if I can figure out a quick fix. Okay, that's all. Thank you for looking forward to hear what you think. Happy New Year. All right. So let's take a look at this project and see what we have. Yeah, see, that's a gag reflex <laughs> that someone loads your project. Change that up before you send it to anybody else, okay? Always dash on, command remember, yeah, let's leave it on, full screen, I guess. Um, yeah, let's do a new game. World map. All right. Cool little intro. I like how you have the, uh, what is that? Not parallax. Uh, parallel process going on. Opening music isn't bad. Nice little detail on the map. Shake screen. Got a little bit of a draw funkiness right here on this mountain, but that's okay. I see you're trying to illustrate. Yeah, see, I knew you were trying to draw focus to it that's okay you could leave that you might want to change it a little bit it's, it's okay looks like a dragon's coming right out of the volcano parallax background you've got some parallel processes going on processes uh, the lava's boiling we got some steam vents really really nice little opening sequence I gotta say it's pretty cool and this is to uh, illustrate lava erupting I totally see where it's going that's nice Awesome little intro. We got a quick zoom. We're playing with some zooms going on here. Better than a lot of intros. Even though the title screen really had a bad gag reflex, this little intro isn't bad. Zack is our hero. Hmm, I thought I heard something. <clears throat> no, probably just my imagination. And uh, we're, it looks like we're on a little farm here on a box map. Try to change this box format. Like, uh, Maybe get rid of this second house if it's not used, and then make it like at a corner. Uh, make the map a little bit bigger with some black on the side. Hmm, another crate loaded. I wonder how many more there are. I'm getting a bit tired. Definitely change the default font. I know it works. It's sufficient, but it just kills a lot of... Uh, it, it's going to make it a lot better. Just change it up. It's easy. I should check how Rebecca is doing. Okay, Becca! Becky! Okay, so I have control now. Let's look at our menu. Oh, what is going on? We've got these little thing, little slashes on our HP bar. I like the color scheme. <clears throat> Items. Okay. Pretty standard. Special. Rename the types. Unless you want it to be that for some reason. Double attack. Ah, oh, man. When you... That makes me think you haven't put any time in your skills. Just rename it or something. You know, even if it's just the same double attack, rename it. Like... Uh, or twin hit, you know, you, there's, there's a several generators. I've got a video for generators that you can help you name your stuff. First hand, second hand, head, body cape, accessory, that, that's fine. Uh, optimize, we don't have uh, anything else. Look at our status, can fly status menu. You actually, very nice. Okay, from looking at this, I see you have a custom icon set. Big points for that, for also including the, the slash I. Uh, icon uh, f before the names on your types in, the, in your database. That's always a good thing to have. And just looking at this makes it look a lot more different. I like that. It's really good. Um, knockout. Those are all uh, standard, standard stuff. Anything crazy going on with our stats? No, pretty much basic. <clears throat> all right, cool. Uh, we got a quest log. This is Gameus. Definitely Gameus. Option. Oh, you got it. That. Okay, cool. We do have a, a scrolling and zooming uh, kind of plugins going on. All right, that's my last one. You may take it now. Kitty, a talking cat, dude. It's an early alpha. Don't expect too much just yet. All right, meow meow. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. 
a lot of work to but before you send your your product to be shown you definitely want to have something cool to show right and, and polish it up like change the font change the title before you send it to anybody the bucket's already empty should i refill it well it didn't give me oh yeah it did give me an option didn't it i just hit enter ready to use all right what's going on can i dash so the move speed's pretty slow pretty slow i'm okay with that since it's a small map I like your good use of zooming. It's not bad, not bad. Anything hidden? Any special? Oh, yep. Dispel herb times two was found. When you show a little tip, you can actually put an, uh, if you do the I, uh, what is it? Slash II, and then in brackets, put the number of the item in your database, and it'll show the picture of the dispel herb, and then show dispel herb. You can do that to make it look a little more interactive. You could also show a little sparkle. You know, people like eye candy, put a little sparkle on every time you pick up an item. You could even change the color of uh, the font with the Yanfly's uh, text color codes. That's uh, Yanfly's... Aha, I knew there was something over here. Potion. Nice artwork on the house. Can we go in here? Sure. This looks familiar. Do you like to save your game? Let's see. We're using Yanfly's save core. Cool. I had a problem with SaveCore uh, because I'm using HemiWorks' as instance actors and when you try to load the face, maybe I should take a bath, go for it. When you try to load the instance uh, actor's face graphic, it crashes so I had to remove uh, the SaveCore but if you're not using HemiWorks instance actors plugin then you can use the SaveCore, I recommend it. Nice and warm. Your clever use of zooming really adds a lot to the atmosphere once again get rid of the whole blocky like one big box maps this map is beautiful and it would look even better if you made it with some more you know angles like sight like curves and angles i know i can't you can't like draw perfect well you can but you just it, i saw archaea uh make uh on her patreon she had like this really cool uh castle and the castle had like curved walls and the curved staircase reminded like Zelda. It looked pretty pretty cool. But I knew that took a little bit of work. She's pretty good with the uh, art. Tips. Often save your progress to save crystal. That's 101 RPGs. You can change your encounter rate in the options menu. You may check your primary and secondary objectives in the quest log, which is gamius. But your characters gain levels, they learn new skills. Talk to people. Some of them may have side quests. You can speed up battles a little by pressing the shift key. Not enter, but shift. Okay. This game is still in development. Okay, right, right. We know, we know. <clears throat> Thousand G. Thousand G. I'll just take a little nap. MP and HP restored. Shield, leather, hat, cloth, and ring was found. Also, uh, it goes back into the thing where sh uh, sword was found. Nice. Let's put all this stuff on. Optimize. I like your icon set. Really, really nice. Is it? Uh, did you make all these yourself with the Enfly's uh, icon generator? Awesome uh, tool t for people to use, by the way. The icon generator is super sweet. It's very, very cool. One downside is it's packaged in an Enigma box. What I think it's Rebecca's bed. So, like, you can't run it while you you have your own project open uh, or a. a a test play running you have to close your test play which is not a big deal really for some reason it, it reads it as a test play <laughs> which I, I don't know why um, but what's cool about that uh, icon generator from Yanfly also uh, he's coming out or he's supposed to he said he was gonna put out got some potions here I was gonna say there's another thing that it was gonna be cool for, oh uh, in the items menu okay you know when you look at an item you see the box right here it's just a stretched out image of this and the next plugin, I don't know if the beta users already have it yet, but it should be out pretty soon where you can import a different picture to show right here. So when that comes out, it's going to be cool because with the icon generator, you can make the, the image in the generator and then make the icon for 32 by 32 and then make a bigger one like 128 by 128 or however many pixels it is right here. And then you can just put that picture, the bigger one, inside of your pictures folder or system or I think it's pictures. And then you could uh, use a plugin to do a note tag on the item that'll show a more higher resolution for that picture right there. So it's gonna be cool when, when we all have access to that. What's up, horsey? That's it, so we zoom in. There are more crates, better check how Rebecca's doing. Oh, okay, oh, over here, yeah? Wow, these carrots are great. We're gonna have a fine price for them, sis. Got a carrot of, or yeah, a crate of carrots. Got a carrot of crates. 
Be careful out there. I'm always careful. Left the crate of carrots. The carrot of crates. All right, that's the last one. I better prepare to go. All right, partner, ready to roll? Yeah, it's gonna be our lucky day. I can feel it. <clears throat> I like your use of parallax, or I'm sorry. Your, well, that is parallax. I like your use of parallax. Also, I like your parallel process events that add a little bit of atmosphere. You can see that I can hear a background sound. I can hear the background music change. Uh, you know, lots of stuff that I like about this. Whoa, an airship, that's a really rare sight. Must be one hell of an experience flying that thing. Well, good thing that dreams are free. <clears throat> you know, you said English wasn't your first language. I haven't noticed it yet. It's been spot on. Uh, we got some bloody soldier meat here. What the? Uh, the dragon, uh, mountain. Also, this is an easy uh, note tag to do using Yanfly's, uh, save your strength. Is that how you spell strength? Uh, no, that's not. Uh, T-H. T-H. Just hold on. He's gone. What did he mean by that? I just can't leave him like this. I should take him home and I'll tell Rebecca what happened. But what about these carrots, man? What about these carrots? We gotta sell these carrots. Zach, what are you doing here? Let me guess, you forgot something again. No, not that. I found a dying soldier on the bridge. Before he took his last breath, he said something about a dragon and a mountain. What? I, uh, this is terrible. W what should we do? I, I brought his body here. He should have a proper burial. Yes, you're right. We can bury him next to mom and dad. Just a random soldier. Oh, <laughs> should probably just go report it and not try to bury the body. That's incriminating yourself. Once you're done, I will make haste to the nearest village. Oh, you already know about color coding text. Nice. Perhaps I'll find some color, some, uh, soldiers there. I'll find some color there. Dot, dot, dot. I pray that you'll find peace. We haven't even known... We don't even know his name. The whole situation is just unbelievable. Anyway, we better get back. I should report it as soon as possible. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. Please take care of him for us, okay? We love you. Farewell. Alright, let's go. Simple and perfect. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Did you be careful out there, okay? Did you read the book I left in your room? I think it belonged to father. Might be useful. Oh, and don't forget to equip yourself. You sometimes sound like mother. I'll be back as soon as I can. See you. I should go south to Satora Village by the mountains and look around. Alright, we'll do that. Not this time, partner. I think I already got the book. What book? I know I got the gear, right? I picked up all the gear. Oh, maybe that uh, little quick tip book right here, right? This is probably it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> we already did that. Once again, the move speed feels a little sluggish, but it's not terrible. Maybe I should take it back. Ah, we... Well, we did, uh... Carry a bloody dead soldier. Should probably clean up after ourselves. Much better. Also, in case we die, I don't want to... Have to watch through that again. Let's just go ahead and save it. Oh, little thing I noticed. You see how when you talk to the save crystal, it turns blue? If that's the effect you want, perfect. Ignore the next comment. If that's not the effect you want, then you can write or check the box that says direction fix or fix direction on the event and it'll stay that this image right here every time you access it. So depending on what you wanted it to do, um, you may or may not want to add fix direction. All right. For some reason, uh, the way you drew the map led me to instantly know that there was something in that forest. So something about your map uh, drawing skills is, is good on point there. What is this? What does that do? It's interactable. It doesn't seem to be turning off the music. Special double attack. You're using some action sequencing. Very nice.
basic animations. That was the um, the shove or no? What was that? Uh, did I get poisoned? I got poisoned. Do I have an antidote? Uh, yeah, I don't want to be poisoned this early on. How much is it? Five hundred. Uh, no, we'll wait. We'll take a little more damage before we have to use that. I should probably re-add that uh, smooth scroll script that you have, the plugin, because it, it adds a little bit of smoothness to it, as the name implies. Tackle, that's the name of the animation for the for that. And then that's basically your, your slash hit animation. I like the speed of your combat. I really do. Very nice. And your your... Your zooming in and out is on point, dude. It feels a lot more dynamic when you have the zooming right. So if I hold the shift... The shift... Ah, sticky keys! No! Uh, so shift is... If you're using sound ciphers, then it's the inner key that speeds it up, right? Let's see what shift does. It Shift seems to turn on. Oh, I get it. I get it. It's a toggle. You don't have to hold it. You, you just toggle that. So it, I don't know why the, it's, it looks like a, a quarter note, or a, sorry, eighth note. But it makes me think like it's toggle sound. But it's actually to make the combat speed double or go faster. So we'll leave that on because I prefer that speed. Okay, encounter rate. Your encounter rate is too high. It feels like you're using 30, 40 steps per per encounter. Change that to 80. Change that to 75, 80, something like that. Hopefully we don't die. Bam. Also, reduce the rate that you get poisoned, man. It's a, it's a constant annoyance when you have to just go cure poison. Or make it so that poison doesn't persist through... Oh, we were here already. I wonder if we come back and check these, will anything happen? It's an unknown soldier's grave. It's mom's grave, dad's grave. It'd be cool to add a little something extra right there. Just uh, for the to reward the player for exploring, you know? Nothing, uh, nothing super powerful, but nothing minuscule like a potion. But put something like a key item that even if you don't use it yet... Just to give the player, uh, like, you know what I mean? Like, you want to give, like, a key item for visiting your dad's grave or something, or your mom's grave. Uh, even if it doesn't do anything yet. It's, it's something, a possibility that the player can think, oh, I wonder what this does, right? And that may, be seeming, that may seem like a trick, like, oh, you're adding false narrative to the game. But you can always consider that an option to expand on the narrative later. So if you run out of ideas, you can be like, oh, well, what can I do with this... Uh, dad's necklace or or mom's necklace or you know what i mean something like that enemy variety is a little lacking uh we've only encountered just snakes so it's like we're crazy snake town maybe i'm just getting unlucky with the poisoning poisoning because i didn't uh, at the beginning because I, I haven't got poisoned that last time maybe the rate on the poisoning is is okay i just uh Got a lot of poison back to back at the beginning. Oh, no, 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 no. The whole village is destroyed. What happened here? Was that soldier from the bridge involved in this? This is a nightmare. I must hurry to the fisherman's village. Okay, so I can't. Look at all of this. Uh, look at all of these parallel processes. The background sound is, is right. The music is on point. I like it. Awesome. That was cool. Clever use of uh, like a town. That was clever. It doesn't have to be crazy. You know, That's that was clever. The art style was, was good too, even though it's like, you know, RPG Maker style. It's still the way you used it with the parallax and the kind of like, uh, looked like more of a platformer type thing, but it, it was cool. I like that. Jumping into some different colored trees. Maybe we'll have a different enemy attack soon. Because all we have so far is... There we go. There we go. Uh, an orc here. You're using Yanfly's animated SV enemies plugin to make them like kind of breathe. And, and probably, you know, some enemies will float. I haven't seen any floating enemies yet. But maybe you'll have those. With the, 
the, the speed script that you're using and the the battle feels fast but the lack of skills that there's no skill variety what do i do to win i smash i hold i don't i don't need any strategy my strategy is use a potion when my hp is low you know and if you run out of potions the player's screwed right so think about some way that uh maybe use i have an idea for you use yan fly's uh weapon unleash plugin okay and add a what do you call it uh an a, D, a guard replace or not guard unleash but guard replace uh, and make it a conditional statement that says if the player's HP is under half then you replace guard with the skill that guards and also restores HP so that way you don't have they can't always restore HP but when their HP is under half the guard will be changed to like uh, uh, meditate or something and it'll, whatever you want to call it and it'll it'll still give you the effects of guard and you know you have to make the skill and then you know, link it to that number it's easy look at the help file ask me if you need uh, help with that I also have a tutorial on it so we got another new enemy who's uh, apparently looks like he's floating no he's not floating uh, he's just breathing so add some more skills definitely and and maybe do weapon unleash plugin auto run event Finally, I made it. Now I need to find some patrol and tell them what happened. Suspicious man, what the hell are you staring at? Get lost. Alright. Magic water was found. How's the dinner, honey? The meal is always great. And we got a doggy here. Cool, cool. I like how you've even got this animated. A little bit of steam. The dog's moving around. Doesn't feel so static. But once again, you're falling into the trap that everybody does. Big box map. Right? Big box map. I do it myself. I'm not... I'm, you know what I'm saying? You asked for this. You asked for uh, me to tell you what I think. So I do. So far, I've been, I've been uh, loving this. This is uh, better than a lot of games people send me. That's why not every game gets posted uh, that I record. Hello, take a look at your our finest jewelry. Ring, a ring with a little bit of magic, agility ring. <clears throat> uh, magic, defense. Uh, I want to go with the defense ring. Let's get one of those. See you soon. Let's put that on. A ring with a little bit of magic, and this is... Okay, so we're losing magic attack and magic defense for 7 defense. I don't know. I thought it was just magic. Um, so that's that's 15 stats for 7 stats. It doesn't feel like uh, that was a good trade-off. I probably should have checked the stats before I did that. Now nah, we're fine. We're fine. If I get another party member, I could put that ring on the other party member. Fresh lobsters. Too bad they don't sell lobsters. Greetings, would you like to buy some potions? Yeah, I definitely need potions because... Revives one character. This makes me feel like there's another character we're going to meet. Also, change the icon for gold to just anything else. And uh, look inside the, the core engine, is it? It's either the core engine or the item core. I think it's the core engine. That lets you change the, the the icon that's used for representing slash G or gold. So change that up. So we're not, I mean, 50 gold bars should not be the value of a potion, right? I don't think so. Uh, maybe like 50 coins or something. Um, we're going to need potions. They're not too expensive. Let's, let's buy 10 of them. And we're going to need these for when we get poisoned. Matter of fact, I'm going to spend all my money on that just because I don't see any way to heal myself besides that. This is interesting how you have like a certain pictures imposed on the map. I wonder how you did that. That's interesting. That wagon. You can see it's a different uh, texture size. It's been stretched. It sticks out a little bit, but it's fine. It looks good. I wouldn't mess with it. Would you like some fresh fruits or vegetables? So these are all like generic vendors that don't really sell anything. They're just decoration. What was I supposed to buy? Good question, old man. Welcome. How may be of service? 
We could have got some uh, different armor here, but I feel like we started with a little bit of armor until we get another character. We probably don't need uh, to spend money on armor. We need items because we don't have any ways to restore ourselves. Ah, maybe add a way to just walk around because you're just creating dead ends. Unless you put a chest there or something to pick up, extend the map down once so the player can come across here. No need to artificially inflate uh, playtime. And that's what that does. Unless you reward the player for exploring that spot, then it's just artificial infl inflation. And backtracking. Always eliminate as much backtracking as, as possible. Only a few more gold and I'll buy myself a scimitar. An exterminator needed. Recently there has been an increased number of imp attacks. A skilled soul is needed to eliminate the threat. 500 gold to anybody who brings 10 imp tails. After you completed the task, talk to Sir Lavos at the end. Good luck. Lavos, that's from Chrono Trigger. Easy money. Perhaps I should take the job. Yeah, because we're probably going to... Uh, encounter 10 imps along our travels music change the smooth scroll script is pretty nice now I like this map you know why it's not a big box it's sort of boxy but you do add some dead space here with the wall for the outside that makes the whole map look way better this one guy is eating a whole pig to himself this fish sure looks good mmm smells wonderful Maybe uh, change the tile set uh, or use the Enflies region restrictions and add a, uh, so that you can walk across the chairs, right? Because it makes sense. You could walk across this and maybe even sit at the chair, but right now they're blocked off. I can't like walk across them. So that's easy fix. Two ways to do that. Tile set or Yanflies region restriction. So you have seen my note. Bring me 10 imp tails and I will reward you with 500 gold. Yep. This guy. He just shows. Okay. Maybe add a, a little thing that you can change the the background music. That'd be cool. Is it just me or the monsters become more violent and bold? That's a typical RPG trope. We're talking. Don't interrupt. See, this is another thing. This looks funny. Oh, I know how you fix this. This little bug right here. In the tile sets, where you have it a zero, that, that means you could walk on it. Change that to a star. That's going to mean you could walk there, but the image will appear above the character sprite. So it means you walk behind it. So change this tile set on this one in your tile sets to a star, and then change this one to a zero, the chair. Hello, it's Tingy for one night. Would you like to stay? Yeah, sweet dreams. Hello, uh, uh, ah, no, ah! Ah! All right, all right, all right. What about you? Hey there, need a drink? Yes, enjoy. Is this supposed to simulate getting drunk? <laughs> that was quite strong. That was cool. Little things. Excuse me, if you want to use our badge, you must pay first. I like it. I like the zoom. Good use of zoom. Really nice. You have a lot of pictures imposed on the map. Uh, you can see them right here and right here and all of that. They look a little stretched, but like I said, it adds a lot of detail and I like it. So leave those. That's good. Captain, all right, man, you know all the details. So I just want to remind you that the monsters became more aggressive. Watch each other's back and don't play heroes. Uh, don't play hero is the term. Uh, like we don't want to have anybody playing hero out there, you know, not playing heroes. Uh, and I'm saying because you said English isn't your first language. So things like that are tricky. So, singular, not plural. We still need more intel on this matter. Are we clear? Yes, sir. Good. Then move out. Good move event. Zooming. I better talk to this captain here. Yeah? We're going to. Don't worry. We're going to talk to him. Just wanna, is there any loot? Epic loot? Epic loot. You can, uh... You can block the path off without having these, but maybe that's part of the storyline. So, I don't know. Maybe you wanted to have those. It's over here. I have a very important task. I must protect these fishes from seagulls and kids. Yeah, that's that's real, real st true story, bro. That will happen. Come on, take that bloody bait. You guys fish in here. I knew it. Five hundred gold were found. You can change that default thing to 
I don't know, I like to use Obtained, but I think I got that from Final Fantasy. Like, he had like a trend of Obtained that, or Was Obtained. But, the breeze is so refreshing. That's, that's a minor, you know what I mean? That doesn't really matter. But you definitely want to change it from something that's not like built in. I know it's an extra step, but you know, the, the more, the further you go, the more polish you put in, the more it stands out. And if you're trying to get the best game possible, then I would change it a little bit. But it's minuscule. Well, wait. Oh, that's fine. Ah! Sir, I have information that might interest you. Huh? Really? Speak then. I came from the northern part of the island, near my home. I found a badly wounded soldier. Where's he now? He... He didn't make it, so me and my sister buried him. It used to be my sister and I, but now I think they changed it, so me and my sister is the same as my sister and I. Did he said... Did he say something? S-A-Y. Not much. His last words were dragon and mountain. After that, he passed. Dragon, are you sure that's what you heard? Positive. Does that mean anything? Well, dragon. Hey, I know something's wrong. On my way here, I came across a destroyed village, and it was made uh, not long ago. So don't give me that silent treatment. It's just going to bark up to the captain right here. This guy's got some, some balls. A whole village, you say? Listen, thank you for your information. Uh, singular, information. No S. But it's a military matter. We'll take care of it. You may return to your activities. Farewell. Are you serious? I have the right to know what is going on. Like I said, it's a military matter. You're not a soldier. Now I must return to my duties. Unbelievable. So what's happening here is you probably use an erase event, which causes these soldiers to come back. What you want to do is use a self switch or even a global switch. This you just need one global switch will control all of these. And then uh, change, add a new page to these guys, so after they walk away, have a new page checked, call it like switch whatever number, and say soldiers moved, or soldiers moved out, or whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter, it's arbitrary. But then a blank page with no image, and below character as a priority. Then these guys won't be here, and it won't look like he's walking through them. However, him walking through the soldiers is fine. I'm just saying, if you wanted to get rid of them from being here and popping back, use a global switch, new page on those events, problem solved. Unbelievable. Uh, I think I'll just go to the pub and have a drink before I return home. Zack is now level 4. Gain 200 experience. Okay. Already. Already ready. Also, th this blocks off the path. So unless that was intended... Uh, yeah, get on that. Da -da -da. Wait, what was my objective now? What am I supposed to be doing? Greetings. Do you like to buy some potions? Oh, I already did. See you soon. This is nice. This looks really cool. Neat little... Uh, here, look. take a look at my finest jewelry. Okay, let's save it. Since there's a crystal here, we did get some dialogue in progression. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. Okay, what's this house up here? Now where did I put it? Damn it! Oh, hey you! Have you seen an old compass around? I lost it somewhere. It's a memento of my father. Can you please help me search for it? Well, why not? I got nothing else to do. Great, I'm gonna look here, and you may check the beach. Okay, so is that a trigger so that we won't find it unless we've already started the quest? I don't like it when games do that. Like, you should be able to find it if, uh, even if you haven't started the quest, and then when you go to him, he asks for it, and then you immediately complete the quest. But either way, let's look for it. Like, see, if this this bug had the compass over here, then that would block off, and that's a game-breaking bug. But maybe those soldiers are supposed to be there. I don't know. We're looking for a compass. Compass. You could do a, another uh, parallel process with, like, a little... The flashy shine... Uh, like, sparkle effect on it to draw the attention... Uh, draw your eye to it. Ah, you did do that! I like where you're going with this. Found an old compass.
Now there's nobody in here. There's probably also this this is not letting me go up. Make this so that it's circle on the tile set. So you can walk on that first tile. Same thing right here. Make all of that circle because it just feels weird like there's an invisible force field blocking it off or something. Which It's just a simple tile set edit. You just need to edit the tile set a little bit and you don't have to like Photoshop edit. You go right to the MV engine in the side your system, your, your database and then you go to tile sets and then you, you, you click on certain icons and X means they can't walk on it, circle means they can walk on it and star means they could walk behind it which will draw in front of the character so you need to edit some of those. Bread is still warm, we bake them every day. How about some fresh and tasty fish? Alright so this is just all... right right right. Where was the captain? Didn't we? Wasn't he in that... wait a minute Wait a minute. Oh, here he is. I just went to the wrong house. Here we go. Is that what you're looking for? Handed over an old compass. Ah, you found it. Great job, lad. Great job. Here's something for your effort. Receive two potions and 200 experience. All right. Why not? Not bad. Anything we can, we can grab? Do do do. All right, what's our next ob objective? Quest log. Looking for help. Uh, go to the da -da -da -da, find a soldier. We did that, right? Yeah, we did that. Uh, go to the pub. Okay. Kill imps. We already we already did those. Okay. Let's go to the pub. I don't think that's the pub. This is the pub. Why is she so hyper? Come here! Ah! 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 Come here! Ah! Ah! Oh, okay, I just got trolled. I just got trolled hard. All right, auto run. Something's not uh, something not too strong, please. Uh, I have a feeling we're gonna get a new party member. I'm ready to depart now. Yes, ma'am. Exclamation mark. Question mark. Cold shoulder. All right. You missed your chance. You blew it, man. She was into you, dude. Well, I guess it's time to go home. <laughs> Excuse me. If you want to have a have a buddy. All right. Where does that lead us now? She's departing, right? So we can come down here and go to uh, there, right, right. Options. No. Uh, quest log. Return home. Okay. Let's do that. Maybe we'll fight imps along the way. I don't think we're going to fight 10, but that's not bad to uh, have a few extra quests on your log. Let's just save it because we made progression. And let's return home to see the next installment of the story. But I am kind of curious what's over on the right hand side of the map. Once again, I wish we had more skills. Did we, ha did we learn any new- we did! Oh, triple attack, add some skills! Okay, add some skills. Those are all default skills. What? What the? Hey, that's what I said. This is cool. I wonder if that's I know how to I know how to do that. Take this. But I wonder how he scripted it. Was it just like after a certain number of battles or after the first battle, after the switch has been turned on because you've talked to the captain? I think that's what it is. Oh no. Take care of this orc first. You want to do your strong attacks when you're fighting more enemies so that you 
lower the number of incoming damage. You can take your time killing the last one and save your MP for when you're fighting like two or three of them. I think a general strategy. Yeah, I think this is scripted. It's got to be after you. She just smoked him with some some holy magic. Are you hurt? I uh I don't think so, but my guards they gave their lives to protect me. What happened? We were ambushed. Huff, puff. Hmm. Monsters are becoming more and more violent. Oh, come. It's getting worse each day. I wonder what might be the reason. You know something, don't you? I... I cannot tell you. I'm sorry. Yeah, I heard that already. Anyway, it's dangerous for you to travel alone, so I'll take you back to the village. Um... I cannot return. I have an appointment, and I mustn't be late. Look, I know that you're a skilled swordsman. Take me to the outskirts of Satora Village, and I shall reward you with gold. What do you say? You know what? The, uh, you know that the village is destroyed? What? Yes, I know. Okay. Still, I must go there. She's got to be some healer. She, it would make sense even uh, strategically to give the, the party a healer at this point. Fine, I guess I can take you there. I'm going in that direction anyway. Oh, thank you so much. You know, I'm a white mage, so I can be... I'm good, guys. By the way, my name is El uh, Eleanor, but everybody calls me Ellie. My name's Zach. Nice to meet you. Pleasure's all mine. Shall we go? Ellie, join the party. Received 150 experience. Zach is now level 5. Why is it so slow? Uh, why did our move speed change? That event where you change the player's move speed, you obviously didn't revert the move speed back. Or snakes. Oh, I want to see what skills Ellie's got. She's definitely got to have. Cure status ailments, uh, a light damage to one enemy, and heals one ally. Excellent. Nice. I like it. I very much like it. So in that event, at the end of it, change do another move event where you change the player's move speed back to what it was. Little bug. Oh, I set it on memory. Okay. Uh, let's see how much damage this does in comparison. Kablam! 133, 83. So... It does consume uh, MP, so it should be stronger than a basic attack, and it is. So everything seems to be balanced so far. I like the simple addition of like lines to separate your HP into like 25% chunks. I don't know why that little effect makes it look cooler. I like it. I wonder if our if our uh, our quest is updated. It said return home, but maybe uh, that that updated, or if we still have a quest to return home. I'm gonna check it because there's a way you can just change the number of the variable to change it in Gamia so that it uh, changes the actual quest. Find a soldier. So we still have the return home, but it looks it says completed. So the return home wasn't really return home. It was get into a battle after seeing that cutscene, but it's kind of masked, so it doesn't say get into a battle. That would be dumb. So I like what you did there. Good job. Escort Ellie to the outskirts of the village. So, I'm curious, it says Project 1. You haven't even named your project. You need to name it. You need to name it. You need to... It's at the point where it needs a name. It needs a new font. It needs a title screen. You're late. Who's there? Show yourself. Because how is somebody... How is somebody going to find your game if it's Project 1? 
it's all right. Dagger is the person I was supposed to meet. So, did you find it? Of course I did. That is what you paid me for. There is a passage nearby. I'll take you there. Dagger joined the party. Oh, I was like, that doesn't make sense. Dagger, you're going to meet a, a weapon? But, like in a lot of Final Fantasy games, they name their characters weird stuff. Like, there's actually somebody named Dagger in, in the Final Fantasy IX, is it? I think, code name or something? Like, her... Who is it? Man, I haven't played that game in so long. Is it Garnet? Is that a wrong game? There's like lightning. There's snow. There's like weird freaking names. Like, I get it though. It it works. So he's got a double attack. So he must be like a rogue type. I mean, his name is Dag... Rogue. I've probably subconsciously seen that already. Now that defense ring we bought will fit nice. Actually, uh, wait, I want to see... Does she have... She doesn't have a ring. Let's put... Let's take the ring off of him. Because it would be worse if Ellie dies. Because Ellie can cure. So she needs more defense. We need to put our better items on her. Our uh, healer. Okay, wait. That was what now? Imp. We got okay. That's. Uh, we've already done that. Uh, kill ten imps and collect their items. Find a passage in the mountains. Oh, that opens up. I see. Nice. Clever use of a uh, save point. Yeah, you definitely want to just add fix direction fix. Well, I don't know. Maybe you don't. It's it's up to what you want. Cause like if you talk from this side, it doesn't change. You see, it stays that color. But if you talk to it from right here, it changes blue. And if you talk to it from the top, it changes to a different color. If you talk to it from the right, it's like a shiny blue. So it's different. In it seems just a little weird. I would direction fix it. Dispel herb times two. We don't need to waste MP yet. Uh, what do you have? Poison attack, smoke bomb, flame bomb. So you have some skills. You have, you've made skills. So it just doesn't make sense that you make Zack have the default ones. Change Zack skills. I would say it gives Zack some different skills. Even if it's just a simple rename, you know. Blind damage and blind damage. Let's try flame bomb. Change that animation that you're using on Flame Bomb. Well, maybe you want it screen. I would change it to, to target, and then it'll draw that animation on each of the enemies. But, I don't know, maybe you like it like that. So, it's really up to you. I didn't mean to guard. I forgot I was on memory. Uh-oh. There's another party here. What? It's... It's the... What? What? We have doppelgangers? Imposters. Imposters. Also... Oh, it's a freaking behemoth. Um... Yeah, let's, let's beef it up on this guy. Ah! Uh, let's try... Yeah, we want to blind this guy. Okay, so Smoke Bomb has the same animation as, uh... As the other bomb. Oh, I did... But maybe it's just... It's partly the same, right? It's partly the same. But maybe it's a little different. Because it did have, like, a darkness type... I just want to see what this looks like. Just a regular attack, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Save your MP. Combat feels a little easy once you've got more than... Once you get the second party member, it, it seems a little easy. But watch me die now.
Da, 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 da. Also, I'd recommend getting some uh, getting some new uh, enemies. The default enemies they look okay actually, but they're overused, heavily saturated on RPGs that use them. So between the default enemies and the default font, no one's gonna, no one would buy your game. If I saw this on Steam, just even though I think it's awesome, it's misleading when you have the default font and default uh, enemies. Uh, Akashix has a bunch of battlers. Some of them are real cartoony. Some people like that. Some people don't. I like it. I like the cartoony things. Um, and it's different, right? So even if it's, uh, I don't know. I would just recommend uh, getting different enemies. Just change the image on the enemies. You can keep their stats. Maybe make them a little, uh, make them hit a little harder, I think. Because you got a healer now. After you get a healer, like, maybe not on the world map, but the enemies that are in this cave, you can you can make it a little harder. Or put a mode that toggles all the stats. It's a lot harder. It'd be easier just to make enemies that hit harder. Well, that is that is it, Zach. We made it. Thank you so much for your help. You really are just like... Dot, dot, dot. Sephiroth. No. Like, just like who? Um, uh, never mind. Anyway, I promised you gold for your assistance. I hope this will please you. Received a thousand gold. I don't think sending him away is smart. He has some skills and is quite useful. Yeah. You know, uh, you know we can't involve civilians. Look, I can maneuver in shadows with ease, but you, on the other hand, will be like a beacon for monsters. I'm afraid it might be rather. I might. I'm afraid it might rather be difficult. So might and rather it doesn't go together. You could say I'm afraid it might be difficult. Or I can say, or you should say, I'm afraid it'll be rather difficult, but might rather? That's not a, that's a no-no. Then we shall return to the castle for more troops. We don't have time for such, such actions. Besides, this task requires more subtle approach. But why does he have to be, why does it have to be him? Fine, you win, Dagger. Lightning, snow, um, Zack. Can you please lend us your help once more? Travel with us inside this cavern and I shall reward you with even more gold. So, what is your answer? Won't you explain to me what is your mi what your mission is? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guy. I, I, I can't. Uh, not at least yet. Let's just say it's a bug hunt. I don't like this. But maybe... There's a typo there. When I go with them, I'll find out what's with this big secrecy. Alright, I'm going with you. Thank you. Ooh. What? What? Ha! Is this? Here it comes! Be on your guard. This is no ordinary foe. That's how she sounds. <laughs> We're gonna blind. Yeah, if we can blind the enemy, this boss, it's gonna make it so much easier. Boom! Blinded, baby! Blinded. Blinded. I like, uh... I mean, it's probably a good idea to make your bosses immune to most status effects maybe give them like one key weakness that's not Im immediately evident you know flame bomb boom oh I turned off fast mode I'm like why is it lagging it's not so I turned off the fast mode accidentally hit shift um, triple attack we're gonna see uh, light damage, poison attack, bam, and poison. Now let's see how you handle the state of poison. If poison's going to be super OP or not. Cut of darkness. Poison's OP. Triple attack. If you do it based off a percentage of their life, then it's OP. Unless it's like 1%. Uh, even then, not. Nah, I guess 1%. It's debatable. Um, attack. Poison. And blinded. Cut of darkness. 
See how much damage is taken from poison? That's where all the damage is coming from. I need to keep... Wait. Heal, not cure. Poison attack. 30s, 40s. 50, 60, 60, right? 225 poison tick. OP as hell. But this boss is kind of... Uh, HP... Max HP friendly. <laughs> it's pretty meaty. Is he still blinded? His blind wore off, but he's still poisoned. So let's put that blind back on. Even though it doesn't seem to be affecting his skills at all. They're probably set to certain hit. Nope, it is. See? Um... Unless your boss does something crazy, I just owned your boss. Vampire. Weak ass attack. His vampire, 35 or whatever. It's 10 times that, you know? Look how much HP we've got. So some balancing on the bosses. The enemies are a little too weak. I understand if it's like mainly a story driven thingy that you can make the the fights a little easy but to me it gets boring when it's no challenge whatsoever obviously I would rather it be a little bit too easy than a little bit too hard but when it's this easy it's not fun it's kind of fun because of the story right your story your narrative makes it interesting so your game is fun I like it I do like it and I'm Take everything I say as constructive because I want to I want to see another version of this. I want to see you put this on Steam and I want to see you make money on it. That's why I'm just telling you honest, brutal truth. Easy peasy boss. Like I said, it's better that it's a little too easy than a little too hard, but it's still on that barrier of too easy. We got our new skill, Slash All. Cool. Heal All. Awesome. Magic Water. Received Angel Tier, 200 experience. Cutscene. You see how when I went up to get that treasure chest, those three guys were standing there? Simple fix for that. Make another page. Um, we'll copy whatever events you have. So you have three pages, then... Like, copy three to page four, two to page three, and then one to page two. Now you have a blank page one, okay? Make another switch that says, uh, uh, that triggers when you walk across a certain tile. It'll just be an invisible thing on the below character, and then event touch or player touch. So they don't, it doesn't look like you have two sets of parties, two doppelgangers. So the first page will be a blank page with no image and no conditions. The second, third, fourth, fifth, whatever page is there will have your normal conditions. The the second page will have the switch condition that's triggered from when you walk across the invisible uh, event at the bottom. And you can copy paste that event. All it does is um, triggered. It's priority below character triggered by uh, event touch or player touch. Doesn't matter. I would just probably do player touch when you walk across it. Make sure that there's no way to get past that without hitting that trigger. You can even do a fade out screen and fade in screen if you need to do that. You can also manipulate trans, making the characters transparent and not. So, I mean, there's many ways to get around that little bug, but I had a similar thing uh, that I had to figure out uh, in uh, uh, the, Le the Legend of Driftwood when I was in the castle doing the, the ninja assassination scene. I've seen a lot of my life, but this, now that I think about it, I believe it was a Reaper. A Reaper? What the hell is a reaper? Bad news, that's what it is. We better get moving. We've made a lot of noise out here. Or in here. You're in a cave, right? Are we too late? Dot dot dot. Do 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 We're using Terax lighting. Awesome, my friend. And a tent screen, right? Can we escape? Yeah, let's just escape. I want to explore. I just want to explore a little bit. Counter rate seems okay. It's not 
too grindy in this in this spot yet. Maybe I'm just getting lucky. Gutaki, to Gutaki. What's in here? Stimulant. Also, rename the default items. So, not potion, dispel herb, stimulant. Just rename them. Easy fix, you know. Give them a different icon. Also, reference all the chests so that you see the icon with slash ii and then brackets for the number. Um, easy fix. You can do that, no problem. Just call them something different. Potion is iconic. I, I would leave that. Uh, or you could change it if you want. Tonic or something, you know. Potion's passable because every game uses potion. Even non-RPG maker games. All RPGs use potion. But like the Dispel Herb and Stimulate, those are... Everybody who has ever made an RPG, an RPG maker, is going to recognize that and know its default. And you might fool somebody who has never made an RPG an RPG Maker, but let's let's be honest, right? Who's gonna buy your game? People who use RPG Maker and like RPG Maker games. That's your audience, so you have to cater to your audience. Also, Fixed Direction will fix that, I already said that. Yeah, and, and the, okay, the move speed thing, whoa, I see why you did it. I see why you did the move screen, the move speed change right there. Yeah, yeah, I see, because you've got these little ghost running back and forth i was about to say something like check that but i know why you did it i like that that is cool look at guys watch oh maybe it only does it uh once or twice those little those uh, uh sprites running up and down in the shadows that was awesome stuff like that really adds a lot super cool we're already full healed. So when we save it, it looks like we get a full heal or that battle at the end of the boss gave us a full heal. We got an Imptail. Nice. Very, very nice. I see why the move speed, another reason. You see that little jump? That little that little thing right there? I can see where... But I, I get it because you're making a, a scripted cutscene. So you've got to make it work somehow. Can you guys feel it? Yeah. There's something strange in the air. Like a presence. Ah, oh, flesh and blood. Blood! Show yourself! What the hell? Ah, hell. Yes. It. Is. Hell. Are you the guardian? Ah, <laughs> the guardian. <laughs> there is nothing to guard anymore what do you mean ah i've been deceived now there is only anger something's wrong look out why are you attacking us ah there is nothing else for me except the rage slash alt no let's slash three times let's uh do some light magic i'm sure it's probably weak to light magic now, it wouldn't make sense for a ghost to be poisoned, right? This doesn't make any logical sense for a ghost to be able to be poisoned. So this specter should be uh, state resist poison. And it didn't poison him. I like it. Also very weak. Man. Where's the challenge, bro? Where's the challenge? This is, a, this is a visual novel maker. No, it's not. This is not visual novel. For some reason, just does, does massive damage to him. Maybe he's like got a physical damage weakness or something. It's probably story related why it was so easy. But so easy. So easy. Is it over? It's, did it start? Yeah, it seems so. Look. What is it? Darkness, the darkness. That's clever. That's nice. Simple map with nothing on it, just a parallax background and a uh, parallel process. You've got a lot of uh, interesting things in this game. I absolutely like this project. Hi there, you didn't expect you didn't expect me now. There's no ING on that. You didn't expect me now. 
or you didn't expect to see me, did you? Or now, did you? This is the end of the demo. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to work to improve that game, this game, because we're saying this, we're referring to. So any suggestions will be appreciated. Farewell. <laughs> Bravo. Bravo. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. Perfect. You know what? It was, it was the perfect chunk for a first impressions video. Like I said, take everything I say in a constructive, positive manner. I want to see more of this project. I hope it, uh, you continue to work on it. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you enjoyed this project, leave some comments below. And as soon as I figure more information about like, you know, the, the actual name that this is going to be called and, and more details, I'll put everything in the description and I'll probably pin a comment below. But leave your comments. Did you like this game? What did you like about it? Did you think, uh, what did you not like about the game? What would you change? Um, what did anything inspire you? Do you see anything that you want to add to your project? Let me know in the comments below because I'm sure um, that the developer will read some of the comments and respond to you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these first impressions videos, please give this video a thumbs up. It lets me know you want to see first impressions. Actually, I don't even care if you do because I already know this is what you guys want to see. This is my most viewed series. Is it the most fun to do? Sometimes it's a lot of fun. Sometimes it's not. It depends on the game. This time it was a lot of fun. So thank you for this awesome game that I got to play. Um, like I said, it needs a lot of things. Even the, the developer said it needs a lot of things that uh, to be changed. It's early, early build. Um, but number one, most important, change your title, give it a name, change the font. Okay, do that. Uh, make the battles a little bit harder, right? Um, it's sort of like a story narrative, so it could be on the easy side, but it's too easy. It's no challenge at all. It should be a little challenge, but not to where like the average person is just going to die, you know? Uh, once you get the healer, is when you need to beef it up. Before that, it's okay to be easy because there's no way to heal yourself and the player can kind of screw themselves if they accidentally use their items too soon or waste their items or get in to run around too much. It's okay for it to be easy when you have no other means to heal yourself besides items. But once you get your healer, uh, you should beef it up. Like that last cave should have been a lot harder. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.